So here are the steps to finding the equation for a line of best fit. Remember if you have a scatter plot and all of your points seem to be going in one direction, then you could come up with an estimate which is an equation of best fit. So the way to do that, usually you'll be given a bunch of ordered pairs, so you need to add a table. So we're going to go up here, hit plus, add a table. And notice we're calling x, x1, and y, y1. We're going to need that in a minute. So from here what you're going to do is you're going to type in the ordered pairs. So I'm going off of the ordered pairs on the paper for this lesson. So the first set of ordered pairs are um, 5, 105. So I'm going to type in 5, go over, type in 105, hit enter, go back over, do 1099. The next one is 1587. Then 2064. 2553. 30,45. So now if you look, we can't actually see these points. That's because of the graph that's being shown, right? So I can move to get my points, or I can zoom out just to kind of see where my points are. So if you look, my line is going to have a negative slope, so that's a good thing to pay attention to. So now to get the actual line, what we're going to do is we're going to type in, we want the equation to be in slope intercept form, so we want it to be in y equals mx plus b form. But because we're trying to get an estimate, we have to use the similar key. So we're going to first type y1, and then we're going to get the similar key, which is the key that you have to hit shift for below the escaped key on your computer. So I'm going to, and it looks like that. And then I'm going to type in m x1 plus b. And the reason I had to type in y1 and x1 is because the table that I just generated is calling x1 and y1. Sometimes if you have more than one table happening at the same time, they're going to change. If you do another table, it's going to change it to x2 and y2, and then you'll have to type in y2 and x2 here. But typically what I do is I just, when I want to start a new problem, I just x everything out and start again. So what this means, this y equals mx plus b, the information that we want here is down here at the bottom. So the parameters, m is this decimal here, and b is this decimal here. And I would probably tell you what to round to. Remember, this is an estimate. So on your paper, I told you to round to the tenths place. So I would write my equation as y equals negative 2.6x plus 121.6. Oops, I missed my one. And there you go. And if you look, what I, my line I just typed up, it pretty much hits pretty darn close to the red line. And so that would be how you find a best fit line using Desmos. If you're going to do another one, I would X out everything that you've just typed in and start again.